This video will guide you through the recommended steps of installation for trim-proof amphibia. Job site conditions can vary and may require deviation from the standard application instructions. Contact your local Trimco representative for support in these conditions. Trimproof Amphibia is a multi-layer hydroreactive waterproofing membrane that is self-healing and self-sealing to resist water seepage. It is primarily used in blindside wall and below slab on grade conditions. The membrane is made up of four layers, a tight barrier, a core, an active barrier, and an integrated grip layer that adheres to the concrete. It's the ideal product for blindside and below slab on grade waterproofing. Download the Trimproof Amphibia brochure from our website for a full list of features and benefits. At the beginning of every job, it's very important to have all the tools necessary for a successful and efficient installation. You'll need the Trimproof Amphibia Waterproofing Membrane, Approved Hydroreactive Mastic, Trimproof Amphibia Grip Tape, Super Stop Water Stop, Paraterm bars, para primer, para granular, para mastic, Dimonic 100 sealant, and Trim Drain Series Drainage Mats. For more information on each material, please contact your local Trimco representative or visit our website. Before you begin, make sure all lagging board nails are pounded flush or removed, and damaged lagging boards are either repaired or replaced. Lagging boards with gaps between them greater than one inch will either need to be grouted solid or patched over with half-inch thick treated plywood installed over them. Be sure to add a 45-degree chamfer to the perimeter edge of the plywood patch to eliminate sharp corners. If the tops of steel I-beams, rebar, or other metallic objects are to be removed by way of a torch, be sure to install a cement board over them. This will protect the front face of the installed amphibia membrane and any surrounding wood lagging. See the amphibia application instructions for other substrate types. All penetrations shall be secured prior to detailing. For single pipe penetrations, refer to Tremco details available on our website. Multiple penetrations shall be spaced a minimum of six inches apart to allow for proper detailing. If six inch spacing is not available, contact Tremco for a job specific recommendation. If sealed or corded pipes are present, contact Tremco. Also visit the Amphibia product page on our website for construction details addressing other detailing conditions. If required, install the proper trim drain drainage mat. This should be done in accordance with the associated application instructions, which are available on Trimco's website. Contact your Trimco sales representative or technical services for assistance in making the proper selection for the application. When the placement of either footings or a mat slab is scheduled prior to the blindside waterproofing installation, ensure that a 12 to 18 inch horizontal starter strip of amphibia is provided to allow for an adequate tie-in to the vertical membrane installation. Trimproof amphibia shall be installed with the white, non-woven fleece fabric layer facing the installer. Trimproof Amphibia may be installed with the long seams running either vertically or horizontally with equal performance. Pre-cut the membrane to the size required. The sheets can be folded and cut in any direction. Tack the top edge of the Amphibia membrane into the wood lagging boards every 16 inches on center. Leaving a 12 to 18 inch flap of excess material above the tack line is optional. 
If employed, be sure to fold back and secure this material until a final termination or tie-in to above-grade materials takes place. Ensure that fasteners do not interfere with any potential seam overlap areas. See application instructions for appropriate fastener types. Ensure that adjacent courses of draped membrane are overlapped a minimum of two inches and sufficiently perpendicular to each other. The membrane features a red printed dashed line, which is two inches from the sheet edge for quick reference when installing. This will ensure that the seam detail treatment meets the warranty requirements. On the seams of the membrane, gun a half-inch bead of Dimonic 100 sealant between the overlaps. The seam shall then be compressed with a 2-inch by 2-inch steel seam roller using pressure sufficient to adequately flatten the sealant bead, taking care not to completely drive the sealant out of the overlap. Immediately following the rolling operation, seal all overlaps with trim-proof amphibia grip tape centered on the adjacent sheet edge. The membrane must be clean, dry, and free of debris prior to installation of amphibia grip tape. Care must be taken to minimize wrinkles, fish mouths, or other irregularities in the adhered tape to maximize seam performance. The Dimonic 100 sealant must be fully cured before concrete placement. See application instructions for appropriate cure time. Weather and other factors can affect cure time. If additional seam strength is required for horizontal installations to receive concrete, please consult the application instructions or contact your local Trimco sales representative. Prior to concrete wall placement, repair any trim-proof amphibia which has been damaged. For damage one inch or less, repair is typically accomplished by adhering an appropriately sized piece of trim-proof amphibia grip tape to the white, non-woven fleece fabric layer facing the installer. These repairs shall be pressed or rolled down to ensure full adhesion. Care must be taken to minimize wrinkles, fish mouths, or other irregularities in the adhered tape to maximize repair performance. For damage one inch or greater, apply approved hydroreactive mastic to area and appropriately sized piece of amphibia grip tape if needed over top. Detail all rebar support anchors. Contact Trimco for specific instructions and visit our website for construction details. If the structural wall is poured in place, the concrete should not be dropped from higher than four feet above the membrane and the concrete should be forced towards the formwork and not towards the membrane. If the structural wall is shotcrete, the spray should be blown in in an upward direction in four-foot lifts so as not to damage the overlap seams. For more information on the Trim Proof Amphibia, visit TrimCoSealants.com or contact your local Trimco CPG representative.